summer vacation continues. Come to think of it, there is a summer festival going on at Naganaki Shrine. So I'll just show you all of these. But then afterwards, I'm going to go back and do the one with Yukari and Fuka. Hey, Katone, it's me. There was a summer festival at Naganaki Shrine today. If you got nothing better to do, want to go with me? Ooh, seriously? Then see you later. You've decided to go to the summer festival with Junpei. Should you wear a yukata for the occasion? I mean, I guess this just results in some extra dialogue. You don't actually get to see her in a yukata. You get to see her in a furusore later on. Um, and I get like a an in yukata, but not like a festival one. Um, so just use your imagination. You decide to go wearing a yukata. You've come to Nakanaki Shrine with Junpei. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Ooh, looks like things are really getting going here. Are you one of those girls who gets all excited at festivals and stuff? Ha, <laughs> thought so. I know a festival lover when I see one. I mean, your eyes are all sparkling right now, too. Junpei seems to be having a lot of fun. Man, I love a girl in a yukata. Yep. You really look great in it, you know? What makes it sexy is that it looks kind of hard to walk around in. That does Hmm, that- hmm. Okay. Junpei seems really happy. Seriously, why don't people just wear yukatas every day? I, you just- you just described- why? Man, what if our school uniform was a yukata? <laughs> I bet Mitsuru-senpai would execute me for saying that. Ooh, takoyaki! We gotta get some. Hey, Katone, let's share one. Excuse me, one takoyaki, please. Put everything you got on it. Of course. Aw, that's a cute girl you got there. Better not make her cry. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Girlfriend. Is that how we look to other people? Junpei put a takoyaki into his mouth. Hot, hot. Oh, oh, man. So hot. Junpei is trying to say something. Hot? I thought my entire mouth was gonna burn. So hot. Pretty good, though. Come on, eat up. You shared the takoyaki with Junpei as he egged you on to dig in. You walked around the different shops together. Hey, they're selling masks here. I used to collect these when I was a kid. I had all the different colors of these hero ones. For some odd reason, just wearing it makes you feel like you're a real hero. After the elastic wore down, I'd fix them up with rubber bands. It was so much fun. Hey, you too! Would you like to play Lucky Draw? All you do is pick a ball! It's easy and everyone's a winner! Ooh, another nostalgic moment. Why don't you try picking one? You stuck your hand inside the big box that the game attendant held out to you. The box is filled with individually numbered balls. Uh, pick one immediately, you get, you get a kaleidoscope, stir them around first, you get a Jack Frost doll. It doesn't really matter. You stirred the balls around before picking one out. Whoa, congratulations! Man, you've got some luck to win something at our booth, miss. Here's your prize! It's a Jack Frost doll. Obtain Jack Frost doll. Wow, you actually won something nice! You must be real lucky. Good for you! The sky is covered in darkness. We're done looking around at everything. Should we start heading back? I thought that we'd run into someone we know, but nope. Nah, better that we didn't. They would have poked fun at us, I bet. Ah, but forget that. I love being free now that summer school's over. It's so awesome! Let's go somewhere like this again. You decided to go back to the dorm. Say no to Junpei and Akihiko will call you. Hello? It's Akihiko. There's a festival at the Naganaki Shrine today. Wanna come with? Alright, then I'll see you later. You decided to go to the summer festival with Akihiko. I'm just gonna wear a yukata every time. You've come to Naganaki Shrine with Akihiko. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Wow, looks like business is booming. There's a lot of people too. Make sure you don't get separated, okay? 
What are you talking about? I don't treat you that much like a kid, do I? Come on, let's go pay a visit to the shrine first. Akihiko seems to be having a lot of fun. That looks hard to walk in. You didn't have to wear a yukata here, you know? Oh, uh, I didn't mean... Well, um, it makes it hard to look directly at you. Y you look good in it. Don't get mad. It seems Akihiko is very happy to see you wearing it. Something smells good. Takoyaki, huh? Wanna share one? It's my treat. Excuse me, one takoyaki, please. Ooh, you're one fine-looking man. You get an extra one, hot stuff. Say, is this your girlfriend? Ah, the good old days of youth. Th that's not it. Oh, um... Akihiko quietly put a takoyaki in his mouth. It seems to have been hot. That was a dangerous bout, but I came out victorious in the end. Here, eat up. You shared the takoyaki with Akihiko as he egged you on to dig in. You walked around the different shops together. Masks. I remember those. 500 yen, huh? I can actually afford these now. They were too expensive for me to buy when I was a kid. When I came to festivals, I'd just wander around and go home because I couldn't buy anything. Now I actually have the money. Hey, you two! Would you like to play Lucky Draw? All you do is pick a ball! It's easy and everyone's a winner! Lucky Draw, huh? I've always doubted whether it's really possible to win the stuff on display. Give it a try, Katone. I'll pay for it. Oh, congratulations! Man, you got some luck to win something in our kaleidoscope. It would have been amazing if you'd won first place. Though I'd hate for you to use up all your luck here, of all places. Oh, you're the one who drew the win, so the prize is yours. I'm saying that you can have it. The sky is covered in darkness. It's completely dark out. Looks like we've been here for quite a while. I had fun taking a breather today. Thank you. You decided to go back to the dorm. So if you say uh, no to Akihiko, then Yukari will call and you'll go with her and Fuka. Uh, if you decline this, uh, and I don't recommend doing that because then uh, Mitsuru will call you and you will hang out with her and I guess. But the thing is you don't have social links with them yet, so it's not gonna do anything. And if you say you don't wanna go to the festival with her, she'll force you to go. So it's better to take advantage of the social link points you can get with uh, Junpei Akihiko or Yukari and Fuka. And I'm gonna do Yukari and Fuka. Um, I mean, I'm gonna show you all of them, but I'm gonna do Yukari and Fuka, like go back and do Yukari and Fuka um, to get social link points with both of them. Hello, Katone? It's Yukari. Did you know there's a summer festival at Naganaki Shrine today? I'm gonna ask Fuka if she wants to go too. If she does, you wanna come with us? Okay, then see you later. You have come to Nakanaki Shrine with Yukari and Fuka. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Wow, the crowd's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Are you getting as excited as I am? I'm not comfortable with crowds. <laughs> But you two look like you're having fun. Ow, I tripped. I'll never get used to wearing yukatas. But man, talk about coincidence. I'm surprised everyone showed up wearing yukatas. That's not a coincidence, though. It's just what you do at festivals. You look great in yours, Katone. Makes you look really Japanese. Better not spill any food on it, though. <laughs> oh, hey. Why don't we all get some takoyaki? It smells so good. Oh, good idea. It'll be just enough for the three of us. Excuse me, I'd like one package. Thanks, coming right up. And for a trio of cute ladies like you, an extra one. Be careful not to fall for any scummy guys out there. <laughs> gotcha. Fuka put the takoyaki in her mouth. Mm, hot, mm, so hot. Fuka's lips are quivering. 
that's what you get for not letting it cool off a bit. Let's eat ours too, Katone. Part of the fun is eating it while it's still hot. You share takoyaki with Puka and Yukari. You walked around the different shops together. Hey, look! They have masks! The hero ones are a must at places like this. Oh, they have dog masks too! <laughs> Doesn't that one look like Koro-chan? Maybe I should buy it. Hey there, ladies. Would you like to play Lucky Draw? Really? Everyone's a winner? Maybe we should give it a try. Kaleidoscope. Wow, lucky you. I got a water balloon. Yukari-chan got a Menko card. It's true that everyone wins, but... The sky is covered in darkness. Aww, we've seen all the shops. I ate shaved ice, played shoot the targets. I don't think I missed anything. Hmm, that was fun. I can't believe we just got out of summer school yesterday. Let's come to something like this again. You decided to go back to the dorm. Hello, is this Shiomi? Are you free tonight? There's going to be a summer festival at Naganaki Shrine. Aiga seems to want to go. Perhaps it would be better if you came too, just in case. And if you say no, she forces you. I see, thank you. I'll come get you later. You've come to Nakanaki Shrine with Mitsuru and Aigus. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. So many people. Aigus, don't leave our side. Hey, were you even listening? Get back here. Honestly. I see. So you are restraining me. However, since I can fire projectiles from my wrists, holding hands is a poor method of restraint. All right, all right. Just make sure to follow us closely. Katone-san, you are equipped with a yukata as well. At first glance, this is a peaceful gathering. But behind it... No, no, there's nothing behind it. This smell. It's from the takoyaki stand. Would you like to try some? One please, miss. Miss? Coming right up. It's so nice seeing such beautiful ladies together. Here, I put in an extra for you on the house. An extra? What for? Could this be a trap? I guess put the takoyaki in her mouth. Wow. Extremely high temperature juices spurted out from inside. I guess seems happy for some reason. I'm glad to hear that. So that's what that food is like. Shiomi, you should have some too. Teach Igus the essentials of takoyaki. M me? I I'll pass. You shared takoyaki with Igus. You walked around the different shops together. What is that? It's called a mask. You wear it over your face to have fun. Hiding your face is fun? The purpose is not to hide your face. Rather, you wear it to have a different face. Hmm, it's difficult to explain. You try to be someone else by wearing a different face? Yes, exactly. Your degree of comprehension is simply amazing. At this rate, after a few more tests, the chairman may give you permission to go out. I am looking forward to that. Hmm, why don't we give it a try? Let's go. I won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in battle against the shadows. Here, let's trade. I'll give you the glass bead I won in exchange for your water pistol. Isn't it beautiful? The sky is covered in darkness. We've seen all the stands. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game has not yet been solved. How could the items not budge at all, even when struck precisely at their balancing points? 
Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. You decided to go back to the dorm. hot. I hate this weather. Don't you agree? Seriously? How can you not be hot? Anyway, there won't be another full moon until September, right after summer break ends. It's like planning for exams, huh? Well, at least there are only four shadows left. We have to hang in there. Ruff. Koromaru is scratching himself with his hind leg. Huh? Does Koro-chan have some fleas? Fuka came in. Grrr. Koromaru is looking the other way. Oh, I know. I bought something the other day. Wait, right here. Fuka came back carrying something. Here, it's a doggy brush. Koro-chan, would you like us to brush your fur? Ruff! Koromaru seems happy. You decided to brush Koromaru with Fuka. Y you used Fuka to brush Koromaru. All right. Ruff. Ruff. Koromaru seems content. <laughs> Koro-chan seems happy. Ruff. Koromaru's fur seems a little softer now. He seems happy too. Koromaru suddenly got up and backed up. Koro-chan, do you not like your stomach being touched? You spent a peaceful moment with Koromaru. Hello, this is Rio. If you're bored today, want to go to the movies? They're having a film festival there right now. I heard they're running horror flicks all day today. Doesn't that sound awesome? Really? Great! I'll see you there! Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today, they're showing horror movies. There you are! Jeez, you're late! Let's go grab some seats. You feel more courageous after watching the heroes in the movie survive. Whew, that was tiring. I'm aching all over. Watching three movies in a row was a little much. I wonder how many times the Earth got overrun. They were fun to watch, though. And everyone was happy in the end, too. What kind of horror movies did we watch? Well, let's go home. After saying goodbye to Rio, you decided to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. We have less than two weeks until school resumes. Fighting the shadows is our priority, but you should still study some during the daytime. The other day, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. She was the kind of girl that men dream of, drop-dead gorgeous. I'm sorry to say it, but much prettier than you. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Of course not! I hate the very word! President Tonica seems proud. Why should I give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up out of squalor to get where I am today. In fact, I've earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. That's what I've always dreamt of. But to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. 
Profits are booming, but I'm so busy I don't have time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and help them master my management techniques. I could create a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but if it works, then I could sit back and relax in my massage chair. How about it? Want to become my successor? I'll even let you join the Tonica family. Not just work, I'll even take care of your wedding. Just kidding. I'm sure you'll obtain something even bigger than my company. If I say it, it's for sure. You feel warmth and kindness from President Tonica. You feel like you understand him a little better now. Donate to the unfortunate children, huh? President Tanaka left. Yeah, I know, but then you're gonna, like, call me two days before the full moon. So I'll go then. Hello? This is Salary. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue. Would you like to go to the movies today? It seems they're showing a series of nature documentaries. Does that sound all right? Really? <laughs> Excellent. I already can't wait. Salary seems excited. You've decided to go to the movies with Salary. Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today, they're showing nature documentaries. Ah, over here, Katone-chan. <laughs> I already bought a program. I couldn't contain myself. Come on, let's go. After watching the beautiful scenery in the movies, you feel like your charm has increased. I don't need that. Those were really amazing to see on such a large screen. I almost yelped when that bear was catching fish. <laughs> Silly of me, huh? Thank you so much for today. I'll see you at school. After saying goodbye to Sawari, you decided to go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig. It's all in your head. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. Ugh. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. 